We are underway. Watanabe in the blue gloves, Joani in the red gloves. Watanabe has been working really hard at her stand up and trying to get that ability to counter strike. She talked about her counter strikes are different, but she's going to have to be careful about the way that. Joani hides her hands behind her kicks or hides her kicks behind her hands. She does things a little bit that are not the norm, and you got to get used to it. Captain, the coach, Eric Albaracin, was telling us when Henry Cejudo was in the gym in Scottsdale, Arizona, he wasn't really holding back too much. And Alara <laughs> Joani and uh, Henry Cejudo, the champion, had some um, entertaining sparring sessions, if you will. Well, one of the things that Joani talked about is the confidence that she has gained since going to the Pitbull Brothers, since being able to work out. Big right hand and left hand right there by Joani. It's that confidence that's the difference in who she is as a fighter today. Big shot. She is hurt, Mike. Juan Nobby got stunned by that. Absolutely. She tried to grab the leg, John but could not do so. And there's another left that connects. One of the things that Watanabe's doing right now, look at her head, it is right down the center line, it is not moving, and it is just a clear target for Joani at this moment. And Joani's punches are very straight, on target, mixed up, lead hook, and now looking to take it to the ground. Nice job by Watanabe using that arm. Joanna going for that knee bar. She does not have that leg in a position. She's going to got to extend the body out. She needs to be very careful when you're going for this. Your head is in a position where your opponent can attack. That's not a good position to be in. Sometimes you just got to say, I don't have it. Let me just get myself safe. Working towards the triangle. It's not there yet. It's getting closer. Six fight win streak for Watanabe. It's it's on right now. Watanabe's trying to change that angle on it. Joani's in a good position, but she definitely needs to start pulling down on that head. She's trying to just hold that arm so she cannot be strong. But if she increases the pressure by pulling the head down with those legs, it can create the pressure enough to put Watanabe out. Showing the versatility at the young age of 25. Well, th this is what you're talking about. Nice elbows underneath. She doesn't have the arms. Right now, she's just triangling the legs, her legs with the head. So the arm is not in place for a triangle to work. But right now, Watanabe was stuck in that position. Watanabe trying to work herself free. Joanny talked about the very high-level judo possessed by Tokyo's Watanabe, but she feels she's better not just on the feet, but on the ground as well. And this is when we talk about a grappler taking the fight to the ground as Watanabe wanted to do when she grabbed a hold of that arm. She has been in this position, but all she has been doing is she's been remaining on top. She hasn't been doing any kind of submission attempt. She hasn't. She's been put in the worst positions. She's accepted the elbow strikes. She needs to start opening up. She was losing this round on the feet, and so far she hasn't even come close to gaining any space. She's actually given up more ground. Side control for Watanabe. Yet to be defeated. This Good ground and pound. Trying to pin that arm, John. She's trying to. Right now, she doesn't have a whole lot with the shots. There's not a lot of power to them. It's more of a, you know, she's touching her. There's just no damage being done with those shots. Seeing that Joanne's going for a Kimura grip. She doesn't have that either right now. She's entwined the arm, but her hands are not in the position they need to be for her to get that. Under 30 seconds now, round number one. Bellator's Alara Joani in the red gloves. Ryzen's Kana Watanabe in the blue gloves. Watanabe creating a lot of pressure with that shoulder, turning Joani's head and looking for a head and arm choke on that side. 10 seconds. Doesn't have a whole lot of time. Good shots. 
Watanabe, very good at the end of the round. Stop! There you In go. In the tournament, the lightweight tournament being, I was they just have. being positive. You are absolutely being absolutely <laughs> positive the whole way. Pitbull Brothers product, Alara Joani, very dominant early with her stand-up, your scorecard. My scorecard reads 10 to 9 for Joani, and you got to remember, she had hurt Watanabe. She, Watanabe was in trouble in that round. Damage is what you're looking for. Not that Watanabe didn't do a good job getting her to the ground, but when she was on the ground, wasn't able to do enough damage to make up what occurred early in the round. Patricio victorious in his first fight of our featherweight World Grand Prix. The man he defeated at 155 in our co-main event later tonight, Iron Michael Chandler. Partner Joani did a nice job of defending that judo toss of Kana Watanabe a moment ago, or at least the attempted toss. Yeah, and it's it's the what you're looking is the way that Watanabe trained. She chains all these techniques together. That's what's making her successful. She doesn't just go after one thing and stop. She swings the leg one way. She comes back on the opposite side, looking for the trip, looking for the haragosh. She's outstanding in that, but beautiful transition by Joanna to end up on top. Now, Joanna's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yep. so it's not like she doesn't understand what to do on the ground. Right now, in the guard, uh, Kana Watanabe. Joani very aggressive. Her boyfriend, Arthur Lima, a 7-1 and one lightweight. They call him Mr. Nibar in her corner tonight. She says that's where she learned the knee bar that she pulled off on Beck Rowling. So yeah. if that's who she learned it from, he obviously knows what he's doing. Does that also mean that he knee barred her about 100 times in practice? More than that. Yeah. I wouldn't think that's a great way to you know, keep a relationship going, but you know. Now what we're seeing is the exact same thing in opposite we had in the first round. You can see Joanny's in the top position. She's got that leg lace, but she's just grappling and all these little shots are not hurting her, but that's the most action in trying to end the fight that's going on. Watanabe's the one that's doing something. Right now, nothing out of Joanny except holding. Alara Joani said, I hope to fight the champion by the end of the year. I'm sure she's talking about the year 2020. Big admiration for Alima Lay McFarlane. And once again, congratulations to Alima Lay for her, her fourth title defense a week ago in her home state, her home island of Oahu. What, what Joani was trying to do is she was trying to go for a, for a knee bar with her legs from the top position. She was just never close to getting that done. Joani needs to get her head out from being down towards that ground, get her head high, and start to either bring Watanabe over to the canvas, putting her back to the canvas, or start opening up with heavy shots. Alara Joani, John had such a clear advantage and was doing so much damage on the feet. Yep. Then initiated the ground game in round one, and that's what we've seen throughout round two. Yeah, and she, you know, it's in these situations where you're looking at a fighter and they get so focused on, I'm on top, I want to remain on top, let me just keep working this position. You're not doing anything in that position. So if it's, I'm gonna back out, then back out, back out, exit, exit with a shot, get back to your feet. You have a distinct advantage on your feet. Why are you playing into her game? Wanabi turning her over now. More shots. Yep. Good ground and pound. These holds are landing. 
they got more power to him. She's in the up position. She's able to bring a little more power with him. Late in the round again, Kevin McDonald right on top of the action. Yeah, but he's not seeing any damage, and that's what he's looking for, and that's why you don't see him coming close to stopping this. And it's late in the round again for Watanabe. Set for the third and final round. Red gloves for Joani, blue gloves for Watanabe, and what'd you score round two, partner? No doubt in my mind, that was an easy round. Watanabe, 10-9. She's going back to that ground position where she has been dominant in the second round because she was just at least being busy. Nice takedown by Watanabe. Close guard, but again, it's, it's those skills in judo that have led this fight to the ground in round two and now again in round three. Her ability to unbalance Yuani on the feet, bringing her down to the ground where she wants to be, that has been the difference. <laughs> Elbows from the bottom. <laughs> it's clear that Watanabe wants to show that she her stand-up is you know evolving. But in, in, the, in this fight against Ioane, she's been taking big shots, so why am I gonna play that game? She's been very smart in getting close, closing the distance, grabbing an arm, and using all of that judo skill to put Joani on her back. Joani going after an arm bar attempt here. The leg position is not exactly where you want to be. The elbow is in place, it's a matter of extending her hips. She realizes she doesn't have it. Let's go. Let's go over. Watanabe said this fight will end in a finish. Three and a half minutes to do so. And hold true to her statement pre-fight. Top position for Tokyo Japan's Kana Watanabe. And Big John has it even after two rounds. Watanabe having a problem freeing her hands, but just stepped over into a half guard position and is postured up. She's got the ability to use the cage as a balance point so she can't be thrown back. Nice shot. This is a definite advantage for that half guard position. She just took away a lot of those submissions that Ioani was looking for. And John, you and I made the comment yesterday at the weigh-ins, Lara Joani, 5'3", you know, 120, but Kana Watanabe is a big, strong 5'6", yeah. more than 125 once she rehydrates. We were looking at her and going, man, she is muscular, yes. she is stacked. She looked way bigger than Lara Joani at the weigh-ins and even looked bigger than her today. Thus, the ground control that she has been able to maintain, staying heavy on the Brazilian. And that, you know, that's what we talk about. When you have all those years of judo and the understanding of Nawazi, the ground game, and how to create a pressure, how to maintain that position, she's got all that in spades. One of her training partners, her brother, Shuto, 145 on the clock, hammer fist from Watanabe. Joani needs to find a way to get off her back. This is what we were talking about. If she ends up on her back with Watanabe being in the top position, it is not gonna be a good fight. You can see she's using a knee shield inside, trying to get herself where she can get out of the position. It's just not working because Watanabe understands that ground game and how to keep herself where she's at. What a way to finish the best year in Bellator history. First time ever inside the Saitama Super Arena. Just outside of Tokyo, Japan. More ground and pound. Not a lot of those working as far as landing with any power, but you look at Watanabe, he's working towards the back. Ioani gives the back, she's in deep trouble now. Time to finish here for Kana Watanabe. Bad spot for the Brazilian. 
And again, those punches are just not that powerful, but that's, it can add up. She just does that, she's hiding. Kevin McDonald will stop it if all she does is hide. And she can't defend yep. herself, and then it's all over. Kana Watanabe remains unbeaten in her professional career. She predicted the finish, and she finishes Alara Joani in the final round. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end as referee Kevin McDonald waves it off due to unanswered strikes. Official time, four minutes, 39 seconds, round number three, the winner by TKO Kanha Watanabe. She promised to finish, and she did it with 21 seconds remaining in the fight. Moving to 9-0-1 as a professional, Kanawatanabe with Big John.